In this video, we're going to take a look at capture, recapture sampling. Here we're told that Rosalind wants to find out the number of ducks in a park. One day she catches 50 ducks, puts a tag on each one, and then releases them. The next day, Rosalind catches 20 ducks, and 8 have a tag on. We're asked to estimate the total number of ducks in the park, and also to write down any assumptions that you've made. So I'm just going to pick out some key information from this question. The first is about the number of ducks that she caught on the first day. So she caught 50 ducks on that first day. And to answer this question, I need to think about how many ducks that is in comparison with the total number of ducks in the park. Now, I don't know what the number of ducks in the park is at the moment. So I'm just going to say that she caught 50 ducks out of the total number of ducks in the park, which I'm just going to call X. Then I'm going to think about the second day. We're told that Rosalind catches 20 ducks and that eight have a tag on. So I'm going to write this bit of information down as well, that we had eight that had a tag on out of the 20 ducks that she caught in total on that second day. Now, the key idea for capture recapture sampling is the idea that I can say that these two proportions should be equivalent to each other. So the number that we've caught with a tag on on the second day compared to the total number of ducks that we caught, that proportion should be equivalent to the number that we caught on the first day and tagged compared to the total number in the population. And so what I can just do is I can just equate these and then solve this equation, 50 over x equals 8 over 20. So to solve this equation, uh, a nice thing to do is when we've got two fractions that are equal to each other in an equation, if we've got the unknown on the bottom of the fraction, we can just flip both of the fractions upside down and it makes it a little easier to solve. So we've got x over 50 will be equal to 20 over 8. And that then means that all that we have to do to solve this is we just have to get rid of that divide by 50 by multiplying both sides by 50. And then we can say that x will be equal to 50 multiplied by 20 over 8. And therefore, x will be equal to uh, 50 times uh, 2.5. So 50 times 2.5, 125. So estimate the total number of ducks in the park. The estimate for the total number of ducks in the park would be about 125. We're also asked to write down any assumptions that we've made. Now, this working that we've done here would assume that uh, no tags had fallen off. So no tags fell off. It would also assume that uh, there had been no new arrivals to the population. So no new ducks born and also uh, not that none of the ducks had died. Right. Let's take a look at a second question. Uh, what I'd recommend you do here is pause the video, attempt the question and then press play to see if you've got it right. So here we're told that Rian wants to find out the number of snails in her garden. One day she paints a blue dot on the shells of 20 snails. The next day she catches 30 snails. Eight have a blue dot on their shell. Estimate the number of snails in Rian's garden and write down any assumptions that you've made. So again, like we did in that first question, we're going to pick out what happened on the first day. And on the first day, Rian caught 20 snails. And she caught 20 snails out of the total population in Rian's garden, which we don't know at the moment. And so we're going to call X. Then on the second day, we can say that Rian caught 30 snails and that of those 30 snails, eight had a blue dot on their shell. So eight had a blue dot on their shell out of the 30 snails that she caught on the second day. So like we said before, the key idea here is to equate these two proportions. And then once we've equated them, we can just simply solve this equation. So we're going to solve it in exactly the same way before. Flip both of these fractions upside down first. X over 20 is equal to 30 over 8. And then multiply both sides by 20. And so X will be equal to 20 multiplied by 30 
over 8. And that's going to leave me with x is equal to, um, x is equal to, I think, 75. So our answer for the total population of snails in Rian's garden is 75. And then the assumptions that we've made are the same as the ones we've made before, uh, that the blue dot didn't rub off, that the blue dot uh, didn't rub off. And we can also say as well that um, none of the snails, the other assumptions that we've made are that none of the snails died overnight or that no new snails were born overnight.